Hello and welcome back to Come Geeksum. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe for future content. Ladies and gentlemen, Sonic the Hedgehog has been made into a live action movie and it just looks shit. Oh my god. So many things wrong with this. It's if you're a fan of the games and obviously, you know, Sonic has been around for decades. But the only good thing about this trailer is the very, very last shot. And that's Jim Carrey looking like a very thin version of Dr. Robotnik. That is it. And apart from that, everything else just looks absolutely god awful. The Sonic design, he looks... I don't know why he looks like that. He, For reasons like he has human teeth. What the hell is going on? But anything in that trailer, it just... You can tell that they're literally just grasping at straws. They're trying to find any IP that they can turn into a franchise. And I can see this. Well, I'm hoping it is as well. That is one and done. I really hope it is a one and done. But... Just going through a few uh, things, and there's a lot of people saying that the trailer looks great, and it's like, no, no, it, you know, it's not. It looks shite, you know. He's going to come up on a screen rant. Jim Carrey is Doctor Robotnik in Sonic the Hedgehog, and he looks great. The Sonic movie has been the strangest video game proposition of 2019, and when the year also includes the first live-action Pokemon movie centered on Ryan Reynolds' voiced Pikachu. That's saying something. So, you got Ben Schwartz plays a speedy rodent in a buddy cop comedy with James Marsden. And for everyone who wants to know who he is, he actually played Cyclops in the original X-Men movies. With a design that has caused a lot of debate as Paramount has slowly revealed it. Well, saying it's uh, caused a lot of debate is one thing. But just saying that he is actually the design of Sonic is one of the worst designs ever. He does not look like a comic book. He actually looks like a plush teddy bear version of Sonic. And it's it does look intriguing, I will admit, but it just looks bad as well. It looks 100% bad. It's the design of Sonic. It does look very unnerving when he's moving. His, his eyes don't even look real either, and... When you're looking at, obviously this year we've got Endgame out so far, and you look at all the special effects and that, of how they de-aged Michael Douglas to look like he was literally in the 70s, and it's like, holy hell, you know? And then, you look Sonic, it's like, how can these two movies be out at the same time, and one looks like it was made on an Atari, you know? It's... The way it looks as well, it's there's a Sega Genesis joke in it. There's a lot of slapstick kind of comedy with Jim Carrey talking to people. And the worst thing about all of this is, for some unknown reason, the trailer is set to Coolio's Gangster's Paradise. What the hell? And you, it's just, it's. Just a crazy ass trailer. It says, you know, oh, from the producer of The Fast and the Furious. Wow, what well, that's gonna do nothing, mate, you know? It's it's just there's just no way else to say. Apart from say it's there's nothing else my mind is just not blank, it's just like trying to figure out what the hell I just saw. It's for a Sonic movie, they should have just went straight up CGI. They should have went that way straight away. But, you know, and for certain, obviously Jim Carrey, he does take centre stage in the trailer, which is obvious, you know, he's the big movie star of the film. And, you know, the very final uh, end, you see him, you know, he looks full Eggman look as well. He has a big moustache, red costume, goggles and a smirk. But apart from all that, it's... you got a few people, says the trailer looks great, it manages to capture everything a live-action Dr. Robotnik would need on a visual level, while fitting in with the rest of the film. No, it doesn't. It's, to me, it just looks absolutely full of shit. And it just looks bad. 
It just looks so bad. You got one at the very beginning of it as well. When you see Jim Carrey with the mustache, he actually looks like his character from me, myself, and Irene. You know, it's like Hank has just come over. It's like, come on, what's going on? But apart from all of that, to me, I really hope this is a one and done film and I just hope this doesn't make any money, to be fair, because they need to get a film which is going to be full on CGI for Sonic. It's the only way that gaming world would work. Same as a Super Mario Brothers film, you know, it's that's the kind of level we're on at the moment. Super Mario Brothers from 1993. That's how bad this movie looks. If you are new to the channel, like and subscribe, hit the notification bell for future updates, and I'll see you soon.